That was quite a ride getting up here in orbit, and I'm glad to be out of this suit. And today, we're gonna talk about how do astronauts pack to go to space, and how can that help us to go camping? There's the payload. Clothes, water, food, personal items, stuff to go to the bathroom. How does that even work? I don't know, they've got things. We're gonna take some lessons from our friends at NASA and their studies and efficiency of how to pack things. Everything as efficiently and compactly and accessibly as they can. We're gonna take those lessons and apply them to our in-tech trailers. We just went for several weeks to Colorado and tested out a lot of these systems. They work brilliantly. I think you're gonna like them, so stay tuned. First up on the list, the REI packing cubes. There's a lot of packing cubes that you can choose from, but I really like the REI ones. They're extremely strong, they have great zippers, and they have a compression feature, which lets you zip around the bottom and push it up to flatten and use less space to store your clothes. So I organize mine into pants, shirts, and then like other shirts, and they fit really nicely up on the shelf. We just kind of pack them all up in here, and it's a great place for them. And those are like the big items that we put in there. The next thing are these awesome nets. They're Velcro. They stick anywhere in the trailer. All of our jackets, all of our sweaters, anything a vest, blankets, towels, and we like to keep one free for each of us so that when we go to bed at night, we can put our clothes in there for the morning and not have to hunt around for them. Next up are these Velcro pouches. We love these, Blue Ridge Overland gear, they make the best stuff. These have two big old Velcro strips on the back, lets you stick them anywhere. I like to label them, I'll put socks, underwear, undershirts, any small items that I want to access easily. So I basically make a wardrobe and I stick them on the wall or the ceiling, wherever I want. You can just get in there, get out, zip it, you can take it down. So I organize them neatly again with labels, stack them up, and it just makes it super easy to get into these. We also use the smaller pouches for gloves and headlamps, flashlights, charging cables, and you start to build a very efficient storage system right on your wall. It's all starting to come together now between packing cubes, the nets, and the Velcro pouches. The whole cohesity of packing like an astronaut is being realized, but there's still more to come. These shoe organizers wound up being way more useful than I ever thought. And this thing holds a ton of stuff, obviously shoes, but we keep all sorts of things in there like suction cups and clips and all sorts of items. Some people don't agree with me because I have lost the window on my door, but I really never look out it. Uh, we have windows on either side of the trailer. As you look around inside, you can see everything is very neatly organized. You can get to everything very easily. It's perfect on the door because when you're standing outside of the trailer, you have easy access to those items. And the last item that we use to pack like an astronaut is the Sidio crate. It's sort of an advanced milk crate. Uh, it's got a snap-on lid that holds things in place and dividers that you can adjust to any size or shape you want. They're kind of, uh, I think there's like a hundred different positions you can put them in. The extra dividers I think are like $3 each. It's not terribly expensive, but this thing is awesome to organize things. So we use these for all of our personal items, toothbrushes, toothpaste, deodorant, as well as everything for taking a shower and going to the potty. They fit perfectly in the overhead compartment inside the Intech Pursuit. We put two of them to the right side and kind of cinch them over to the right and then all the packing cubes go up there and it fits perfectly. And that wraps up Pack Like an Astronaut. Hopefully you enjoyed. I uh, hope that we shared something that you found useful. And if you did, please leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. And it helps us bring more content to you. We'll see you all next time.